Alright guys, All right. we are leaving the expo. Finally, had a great time. Now we're gonna go find some food at the Mustache Cafe. At least I call it the Mustache Cafe. Mustache Cantina correction. So <laughs> stay tuned you guys. I'm gonna show you what kind of tacos we get. We're gonna do a little hangout, you know what I mean. Spencer D, I'll see you in the next clip. Yeah, babe, the Mustache Cafe. Cantina. Mustache Cantina. Apparently Arnold Schwarzenegger delivers tacos. This is hot, right? Not bad. Amazing tacos here at the Mustache Cafe, I call it. I would say probably like a 7 out of 10. Salsa was great, but I would have liked a few more options. Definitely coming back. Oh, don't leave us. Don't leave us. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, 200 West? Yeah. yeah. All right, guys, back at the hotel. Finally able to jump into the shower and rinse this bronze mess off. I might actually show you guys what that looks like if I wear boxers or something. It's kind of funny. This goes everywhere. Had a great time at the Arnold Classic once again. If you're new here, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next clip. Oh. <laughs> it's not working. Because you, you put it next to your phone, didn't you? See, these, these hotel keys these days just don't work when you put them next to a device that transmits radio waves. Oh, mine works. Because I didn't put it next to my phone. I have a small person. All right, guys. Spencer D here. This is how you remove a spray tan. I just want to show you what it looks like in the shower. I'm going to keep my shorts on because this is not really a porno, you know what I'm saying? This is more of like spray tan business. So if you like <laughs> look at this. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. It was a wonderful golden shade and now it's all going away. Uh. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my god. You're smearing poop everywhere. That's kind of what it looks like, huh? This is nuts. This is crazy. I got two tans in total. We did uh, the main tan, which is all over the bed. Kathy will show you that here in a minute as she walks out. And then they did a second coat before I went on stage. And then they oiled me up with some like nice oil to make me <laughs> Oh my God. So anyway, you kind of rinse it off for a little bit. You know, you get the majority of it off and then it kind of stops creating such a cloud on the bottom of the shower. And then at that point, you realize you're still a little dark and that's when you bust the soap out right so you get your body wash you put the body wash in the hand like that and then you sit there and <laughs> literally you scrub so hard you might kind of use fingernails scratch it out of your skin you know what i mean it's literally that deep of potato <laughs> You guys, I just want to tell you once again, I had a great time at the Arnold Amateur and I would highly suggest that you guys either come check out the expo or you go compete. So much fun. Spencer D, you guys, and I will see you in the next clip. Bye. Bye. Have a good one. Thank you. Yep. What's up guys, Spencer D here. We are at the airport. Don't you hate it when your bag does that? Literally just falls on his face. <laughs> Too much in my bag. All right guys, we made it. We're at the airport here, about to get on our airplane in a minute. And uh, just want to fill you guys in. We had a wonderful, wonderful time here in Columbus, Ohio. Once again, I'd like to thank everybody at the Arnold Classic for putting that on. Thank you for Arnold for paving the way. That was an amazing experience. And I really, really, really hope to be back next year. Me and my girlfriend had a ton of fun and we're just stoked to be involved. So thank you to everybody at the Arnold Classic classic and uh, I'm really tired you guys look I haven't even done my hair got my Arnold classic t-shirt on so we're gonna get through this airport you guys and I'll see you on the way home if I have enough energy to vlog it all Spencer D and thank you so much for watching I will see you in the next clip hey what's up guys I just met this dude and he's carrying a trophy and I was like hey what'd you win he told me that he won arm wrestling here at the Arnold classic so I just want to show you and introduce him <laughs> what's up lightning Luke Kent at Luma, California, first place, 176 class. And how long have you actually been arm wrestling? Started uh, 21 years ago, so. It's a long time. There's a lot of technique and stuff that goes into that. Um, you said this was a big win for you. What does that mean? Uh, I mean, I trained my ass off all year for this event. So the Arnold Classic is one of the um, premier events of the year for arm wrestling. And uh, it's really cool. We get to be on the, like, the main stage first thing in the morning and start off the Arnold. So it's uh, I've never won the Arnold before, so it's a huge accomplishment. Yeah, it is. They say people's dream is to win the Arnold. In fact, when I was getting tan, 70% of the competitors were foreigners. <laughs> Pretty crazy. Do you yeah. have an IG or anything like that? Yeah, it's at Luke Kent is my Instagram. 
So I'm gonna put his IG in the description below, you guys. Just met him, he seems pretty cool, and I just wanna give him a shout out, because he is a winner today. Thanks, man. Yeah. Have a good one. Yeah, yeah. slap boxing today. Okay, all right. <laughs> So, <laughs> this was pretty funny, you guys. I just want to tell you. So we're getting TSA checking us out and we're just like bantering with the TSA agents and they're like, oh, you know, is the Arnold going still? And I'm like, yeah, telling them about the Arnold and stuff. And then she's like, or one of the persons at TSA is like, oh, well, you're pretty buff. Give me like a flex or something. So I like just put my arm up and I'm like flexing. And then I start hitting some like toxic poses like right there at TSA as we're getting checked out and our bags are going through the thing and everybody's giggling. And then I got patted down and the dude's all, hey man, you're pretty buff. I need to get buff like you. And I was like, yeah, you know, I just got the uh, the shoulder implants at Costco. Buy one, get one free. And he starts laughing. <laughs> yeah, like all five of these TSA agents laughing over muscles in the Arnold and posing. It was a great time. <laughs> Talk about funny moments here at the airport in Columbus, Ohio. Chicago here. We got like a six hour layover. So we're gonna go outside the airport and find some food. Honestly, I can't really say I've been to Chicago, so this should be fun. Right, babe? No, you've never been here? No, uh, I do. It's on my bucket list though to check out like that giant bowl and stuff they have here and the bean and stuff. We'll see you guys in the next clip. <laughs> All right, so we took a little trip over here to Anthony's and I'm looking at the menu. I'm really stoked. We have fries, burgers, all this sort of thing. But I'm gonna set the camera down and we're gonna do a little visiting with family, you guys and then gotta go back to the airport, get on one more flight, and make it back to San Diego. Maybe I'll show you guys my burger or something like that. I'm really stoked. Come here and eat and grub out finally. Spend some deep, and I'll see you in the next clip. What's up, YouTube? We are back at the airport here. We have three hours to kill after that lunch we had, and now we're just hanging out at the bar, talking about some things, and it's just like, how do I start here? But just choices we make in life. Like, I'm talking to my girlfriend here about like Kobe Bryant, and Kobe Bryant went into the pros at 18 which was unheard. And why did he do that? Why did he, was he gifted? Did he have something better than the rest of us? And the answer is simply no, he did not. Kobe is a human being just like the rest of us. But what Kobe did that a lot of us do not do, put in the work each and every day. What Kobe did was say, you know, so what I have a failure, I'm gonna work harder to make that failure a lesson and turn it into a victory next year or when the time comes again. So I was kind of talking about just making choices in life, doing things that we do. Like, what if you showed up to the Arnold and you got last place, right? Very last place. Well, you have two choices at that point. You're either gonna go back to the drawing board and work harder, much like Kobe Bryant did, or you're going to just say, you know what, I give up. And those two choices are pretty big because they will lead you down two different roads that go to two very different places. One is gonna lead you to a place where you've now learned to quit. You've now learned to give up on things that you're very passionate about and act like they meant nothing to you, right? And the second choice is, you know what? I'm not going to take no for an answer. I'm not going to let this define me. I'm going to be better next year when I come because I'm going to put in the work type thing. I feel this is important in our life for the fact that if you want happiness, if you want anything out of life, if you want that new car, that house, that girlfriend, that body, you know, you have to be willing to work for it. It's not not easy. The last 16 weeks when I was cutting and working towards this show to go to the biggest amateur show that you can possibly do, I think in the world at this point, it was lots of hard work and many weeks I would think to myself, man, why am I doing this? Why? I don't need to do this. I already have a job. I already have a, a career type thing. I, I don't need to do this. But I just kept thinking to myself, I want to. I want to put in the work because I want to be there. It's something I desire to do. And following through with that, I have found in this particular moment in my life helped me grow as a person. It made me more confident in who I am and who I am trying to be. It allowed me to inspire others and it allowed me to find more happiness in my life, more fulfillment. And like fulfilling those desires, fulfilling those feelings in your life, like it's just incredible. It's something that will bring more positivity into your life, more confidence into you as a person. There's the list of benefits is endless. So I urge you guys to find out whatever you're doing in life to either figure out how to try harder at it work harder at it become better at it and to not give up on whatever you're doing so if you want to be a rapper if you want to be you know get through school be a doctor you want to do something 
something, you know, with your life. You Maybe you want to be a bodybuilder like me. Put in the work and remind yourself every day why you're putting in the work, why you want to do what you want to do, and just do it. Sometimes you're going to be exhausted. Sometimes you're not going to want to be there. Sometimes every excuse in the book will go through your mind on why you shouldn't. But it is up to you to make the choice to continue to work, to continue to strive, to continue to outwork the person you were yesterday to achieve that goal. And I am here to tell you guys that no matter what the result at the end, if you have followed through, keyword here, followed through with what you put your mind to, you are a winner. Last place, first place, it doesn't matter. The following through and achieving your goals is the difference between winners and losers, I believe. So I urge you guys, as you've seen my road to the Arnold, as you've seen some of my videos, if you can find any piece of that where putting in the work and applying it to your life, you know, means something to you, I urge you to apply it to your life. It will bring in more positivity, open more doors for you, and make you a better, stronger, happier person, guys. We have such limited time here on Earth, it's not even funny. You wonder, like, when you should start something, when you should kick it up a notch to try harder. The answer is pretty simple, right now, because that clock is ticking each and every second. That's a little deep deep thoughts with you guys to kind of like summarize a little bit of uh, kind of the undertone of my road to the Arnold here you guys. So I really hope it you know inspires you guys out there to work harder at who you want to be. Never take no for an answer and become the best person you could possibly be. And most of all follow through with your dreams and goals because it is worth it. Spencer D and I'll see you in the next clip. What? The, the jelly bean game. The jelly where, bean candy game. Yeah, where it could be like cotton candy or it could be a rotten egg. You don't know what you're gonna get. <laughs> New video coming soon. <laughs> Kathy and I try jelly beans that could be rotten or they could be sweet. Still wandering around the airport here in Chicago and something has caught my eye. Keep thinking about it over here. I can smell it, I can see it, I can hear it. <laughs> Got her with her mouthful. <laughs> What's up guys, still hanging out here on our layover. We literally have like 50 more minutes and a six hour total layover. And just finishing up another episode for you guys to watch. So stay tuned. I'm gonna see you guys when we get back into San Diego. So we are switching planes. As you can see, it's snowing outside. My nipples are getting hard as I walk out this plane. You can see the snow. I should just ball up a snowball right there and throw it at my girlfriend, to be honest with you. Guys. Oh, cool. it's snow? Yeah, I was gonna, I was telling my camera, like, why don't I just ball up that little snow right there and just throw it at you? Be like a cold welcoming to Denver. Um, I'm gonna not say anything mean. <laughs> <laughs> I think she's a little too jet lagged and tired right now to come up with something witty. We're not even supposed to be in Denver. How are we in Denver? We are in Denver, you guys. Spencer D, and I'm gonna see you guys on the next clip. I just wanted to show you guys how snowy it is here in Denver right now. They are probably gonna be de-icing the plane for like three hours before we even take off. <laughs> that girl said that dog was 27 pounds. <laughs> I feel like that would scare anybody taking off in a plane, seeing all that snow out there. Safety information card for use of a life on an infant and flight attendant will distribute additional dust. If you're coming by, check that you're... Thank you. Thank you. Thank
2.30 in the morning. I just want to show you guys, man. 2.30 And yeah, I'm still awake. Still on a plane. <laughs> the price you pay to be a competitive bodybuilder. Spend some people. I'll see you guys on the ground in San Diego. We made it, San Diego, San Diego, we made it. Finally. Well, we are officially back in San Diego here, you guys. Officially made it back. So, may end the vlog here. Maybe you guys will get some bonus clips. I don't know. Either way, you guys should like and subscribe for all the trouble I went through to vlog the road to the Arnold you guys I really hope you enjoyed I really hope you learned something and I really hope you got entertained Spencer D and I will see you guys either in the next clip or the next video Look at this bad dog here. Bad dog, just tearing its bed up. Does she know how many, how much those cost? She peed on the floor just now. Out. Now she's, now she's eating the cat food. Out. Not even, not even supposed to be in the kitchen. Go, go, go. She's got so much excitement. She just stiffens up. Oh. Oh, you, 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 yeah, oh my god, I just pets, 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 sit, there you, you know you're not supposed to be in here, sit, sit, get back, 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 Like, can I have it? Yes. <laughs> Good. Hey, babe. Yeah. Who's uh? Who's Willie? Let's see. What's your uh? Just kidding, stage babe. name. <laughs> Her stage name. <laughs> she got a tattoo. Oh, there it is again. I see it right there. <laughs>